Yo, what is up, YouTube? It's your boy Cannons, and I'm showing you how to kill small arms light switch skull loss. So what you're gonna want to do is the same thing as brawl or skull loss. Nothing's changed. Is you want to go down the left path, shoot the servitor with what you think is best, and then gallowhorn the fuck out of skull loss. You, it is possible and it's very consistent to break the bonds on Skolas, except you saw right there that he jumped up to us, so we weren't able to break the bonds. Right there, I almost get lit up. So what we're going to do is we're going to run to the right. And basically, this is what I mean by the strats stay the same, guys. All you do is you go to the left, break the bonds, kill everything on the right, go back to the left, shoot the shit out of Skolas, and go back to the right, kill everything again. Then go back and shoot the fuck out of him again. You should be able to take a third of his health out with every single Gallowhorn kind of like wave that you have. It's really not that difficult. And well, I don't know what killed me right there, but I'm gonna edit that out like it never happened. All right. <laughs> All of a sudden, I'm alive. I'm rocking the Vision of Confluence, the Found Verdict, and the Gallowhorn. I believe the Found Vision of Confluence is the best. Um, scout rifle for this because I don't want to be using a fate bringer for small arms and clicking the button 600,000 bajillion times. I just feel like giving my finger a break and not torturing it. So I believe there's going to be another edit right up here. Yep. So what I'm going to do right here is we're going to kill the servitor and on this round it should only take two servitors at best. I mean sometimes three but you know. We're going to kill this servitor and now we're going to break the bonds. Finally on skull loss. You're about to see it in a few seconds. Server the bonds are broken and PS4, Fourth Horseman, Found Verdict style, Xbox One style. Anybody? Uh, uh, yeah, yeah. I do not recommend doing that whatsoever. So he gets me down to one shot. So now we got the taint. We got the jizz. We got the booty. We got the ghetto black booty. And he jumps up again. What is with that skull loss? Why? Why do you do that? RNG is real with with skull loss. Oh my gosh. So now we're gonna rotate to the right. I ex. I edited it out, me failing to get heavy ammo because Destiny sucks. And now we're just going to be looking for Skull Loss. As you can tell, I, I did find him. And look at that, we're able to shoot him completely uncontested. Just getting in free shots. So, in my eyes, I believe it's worth it to take the extra time to be consistent with this by killing everything. You don't want to have to shoot skull loss while being shot by a hundred different things. That's just not fun. So that's why I'd recommend doing exactly what we're doing in this video. And lag. If you want to do a consistent skull loss run. I'm also using the Kepri Sting on my Hunter because it allows me to use the get health back with every Arcoid kill. Along with camo while crouching. And I feel like that comes in handy a lot. And hey, if I can sneak up behind a captain, which are the most dangerous ones, and backstab a motherfucker, then hey, it just works out. So, what I recommend is always having one person on the lookout. Just like the, for the servitor before Skull Loss, always having a person on the lookout while the other two shoot everything. Including Skull Loss. So I edited out me to shooting a Vandal for no reason. And yeah, guys. Get these shots in the skull loss when you can. You're going to tell that we have no enemies down now, so we're just going to keep juggling the jizz. And once skull loss gets into a better position, we're going to shoot the shit out of him again. So now we have the mines, and here I was like, hey guys, stay here for a moment. Skull loss is not too, he's far away. Let's see if the mine spawns close to us, and it does. So what we're going to do is we're going to double team this mine. We're actually going to triple team this mine. Hey, gang bang. And now that we got that mine out of the way super quick and super fast, what the titans, I have two titans, what the titans can do now is they can pop their bubbles in the middle one because that's the most dangerous other than the one we just did. This is the most dangerous mine. They can safely get that mine while I wait over here for this mine. I don't, that's a strategy I would recommend. I don't think we'd do that I, yeah, for this little mine. I think we do it on the second wave of mines, but definitely not for this one. I told them to go to that third mine. It should have been flip-flopped. Maybe they didn't have the super, I don't know. But I got a giant bug crawling on my arm, because that's the Capri sting. My girlfriend's getting a funny look. <laughs> Surprised that fall damage didn't kill me. Oh, he did have a super. <sighs> Go look at that. 
So now we've gotten through the first wave of mines. Now we can take our time and kill everything and just kill all the us again. Are you guys starting to get the rhythm, the pattern that I'm trying to convey? It's very simple, honestly. Like, you, like I bet people thought Crota was hard in the beginning. But shit ain't hard now, we're one waving them on hard. <laughs> it's funny. One sorting, I mean. So now we're at we're running back towards the right. We made the judgment call that since Skolas was really close to the left side, that it would be way better to run to towards the right side. And the judgment call was made because there was no enemies on the right side. Other than those stupid ass shanks. So now more enemies spawned because we shot Skolas. So all, all we gotta do guys, and I'm sorry if I sound like a broken record is and I'm just trying to get my point across, is you just got to kill these enemies first. Especially those captains. And remember, do not die. One guy dies, that could result in two people dying immediately. So now we're just popping shots off at Skolos. I'm trying to save my buddy's life because there's fucking snipers everywhere. Shotgun. Shotgun. Dead. That guy did a front flip. I still can't do the front flip. I went to a trampoline place once and I had my fucking face. It was great. Edit, edit. Why didn't I just edit both those out? I don't know. Go! I think I've totally lost my mind. And if you guys ever play with me on Xbox Live, that's pretty much how I am most of the time. It's great! So now I was able to get a lot of heavy ammo, so I'm like, hey guys, let's just gallow the shit out of him. Let's just gallow the shit out of him. Try and get his health down before any major enemies show up. I was the first one to get rid of my heavy, so I made sure that while my teammates were shooting the heavy, that I was able to kill all the enemies that were that could possibly shoot them or get in front of them to kill themselves, kamikaze style. So now I have the essence, and this is where shit goes to hell. Hell goes to shit. Shit goes to shit. What the fuck ever. I die in a not so great spot. So what Nukem and Astro are gonna have to do if you're ever in this position is. Nuke them. Whoever has that bubble is going to go pop their bubble in the middle to safely get that. And then Nuke them is going to have to stay with Astro this entire time. So that a so that Nuke them can take the essence jizz off of Astro when the time comes. And then Nuke them or one of them, whoever is close to whoever is far away from Skolos, is going to have to get me while so the other person goes and gets the mine. As you can see, Nuke them is getting the mine while... Astro is getting <laughs> the mine. So Nukem got me, and if he would have not, if he would have not got me there, it could have very easily been over. But he got me. So now we're running back to the right, and we're just gonna keep shuffling the jizz until Nukem is alive, and we're gonna make a huge beeline straight towards him because as soon as I take it from Astro, we'll have only 30 seconds to get to get Nukem. By the way, guys, thank you so much for getting me to 50,000 views on my Gorgon video. I can't fucking... Honestly, the fucking is... The word, the F word is definitely needed in this this position, because... Oh my god, 50,000 fucking views. Wow! 50,000 people have watched my video. Like, honestly, guys, I don't know if you know, but that's crazy, and I thank all of you so much. Also, we're about to hit 1,200 subs. I don't know how, but it's amazing. Thank you guys again so much. I hope you, I really hope you enjoy my videos. I'm learning how to edit now. It's so great. I actually try, try and put a lot of effort into my editing. It may not seem, it may seem like child's editing, but honestly to me it's really good and I know that I'll just get better and better in the future. I also use a Mac, so that should just show how not <laughs> technology smart I am. <laughs> no offense to all the Mac users out there. So now, now we're just trying to pop shots in Skolos, just get him as weak as we can. And he's going to jump right back up to the top for like the fourth fucking time. So I'm going to edit out. We, all we did is run over here. We took the jizz. Why does my camera look zoomed in? Whatever. I edited that out. And Skolos is about to die. I hope you guys enjoyed the commentary. I hope I got my point across. If not, leave a comment and I will definitely call comment back i love commenting and i love talking to all of you all right i'll see you guys on the next video have a great one peace